Hi, I'm Saxophone. I'm DJ M. And, and we're, we're Future, Future Joy. Joy. If you could please like this video, subscribe to our channel, share it, comment, any of that would be a really great help to us. Thanks. Yes, we've been uh, out there traveling for work. Uh, we're not just gallivanting around having fun, even, even though, though it has are. been <laughs> a blast. Uh, we've been able to find work out on the road. We weren't able to find work in Colorado this year, just like so many artists and so many of you are out of work, but luckily we're able to find a socially distant solution on the road, playing concerts from our home, as you can see. The back opens up into a stage. We have a generator, sound, speakers, decks. Saxophones. And subwoofers. Everything you need for a socially distant concert. So in August, we moved in. Uh, we hit the road, moved in full time to our RV, brought our friend Elton Tom with us, and we went out to Minnesota. We were able to play a show, play an outdoor festival at Pure Bliss Ranch. Was it? Is that a little piggy? Oh my God. This little piggy. Hey, buddy. Just can't, hanging, out at, hanging out at camp. It's a little pig guy. He's a little munching. Shout out Keller Bar in St. Cloud. Yeah, and we were able to do a stream. After Minnesota, we headed back down to Colorado to do two shows at our favorite place in Montrose, Mingle Sports Bar. And then we did a socially distanced outdoor festival in Buena Vista called Up in the Air. After Colorado, we headed across the country to Illinois, where we were able to play at the Naperville Senior Center. It's a wonderful business owned by my parents. It's an adult day center where they take care of seniors. Check them out, Naperville Senior Center. We were able to play their five year anniversary from the parking lot. What's really awesome about our setup is that we don't have to have contact with the clients, AKA seniors. They were very far on the other side of the parking lot, but they could still hear our music, which is really nice. After Naperville, we headed east to Livestock Music Festival. On another episode of parking our home next to dope stages. <laughs> it was on their Angus farm where they were able to socially distance. They took the cows out and they brought the cars in, built a nice stage, had a fireworks show, and it was a really special experience for us. We got to close out the festival. We love our Indy fam. We'll be back this summer. After Indy, we headed east again to Charleston, West Virginia, where we were able to do an FM radio show from our friend Mick and Britt's living room. Yeah, it was really sweet that their their studio happened to be set, shut down, but they were still able to broadcast from their home. So we did an FM radio broadcast and we were able to record a live stream there. Shout out WTSQ, the status quo. From there, our October headed towards Virginia. We were involved in the Pico Burn. <laughs> After the Pico Burn, we headed south to Lesby, Maryland, where we were able to do the concert on the compound at Uncle Rick and Aunt Heather's backyard party. It was really great there because they invited the neighborhood and separated everyone into pods so everyone could experience the music from a distance, safe, and enjoy it. We had fire dancers too. Woohoo! Joyheads unite! <laughs> from there, we headed towards Pennsylvania, set up shop a little west of Philadelphia in Amish country by Landenburg, and we found our sweet rescue pup Gus in Alexandria, Virginia. After we got Gus, we had a beautiful weekend in Philadelphia area. Shout out to our Scram fam for making it all happen. What's cool about our journey is that sometimes we don't have a city planned and someone will say, hey, come here, we've got a gig for you. And so we'll do it. If you have got a gig for us that's outdoors and socially distanced, we'd love to chat. In Philly, we met Wayback and Bitsky at Tigress's studio for a great session which led to Bitsky joining us and jamming at the Singing Fountain, and then the following evening getting us a gig out west with the business and closing out the weekend at FDR Skate Park. From there, we headed towards Chilhowee, Virginia for Of, of the, the Werewolves. werewolves. Oh! It was a great festival with the Nocturnal family where we really got to connect with them. So we were hired to host second stage concerts off of our home and then we got to play on the main stage on the function one sound system normally we put the patio down for the stage but this time it was a little too cold for that we needed a little more room so we set up shop on the other side of the trailer as you can see in these videos and we had a blast after the festival we headed west we had a week to make it from virginia to arizona we did a pop-up at snood city for their first first friday of the season 
with our friend Lizzie Lubitsky, who is Bitsky, Sean's sister over in Philadelphia. He was able to hook us up across the country with another pop-up. And we did a backyard homecoming at our friend Allison and Ben's house. We're really grateful for other people who are finding creative solutions to the problem at hand. After that, we headed back to Colorado. We had some recording to do, a session with Vibe Street and Toronto Dump. Oh, there's a sub oscillator. We had a sound healing with our good friend Low Pro. And we had another session with Medicinal. And shout out to the whole Potent Productions fam. We love y'all. After Colorado, we headed back to Phoenix for a rooftop gathering with the Rude Boy Collective. Which is awesome to reconnect with friends from college. And we booked a New Year's gig. So we will be back in the Phoenix area for New Year's. Look out. After that, we found ourselves in the Arizona desert. We did some camping at an off-road vehicle spot where there was a lot of ATVing and motorcycles. And we really were able to unwind, make a little bit of noise, and no one really had too much problem with us as they were scooting by on their motorcycle. We found that ATV spots are a really good spot to boondock because you can run your generator and there's usually a lot of space. After that, we headed towards California. We had gig, a gig lined up at the Roxy Encinitas, so we found a camp spot that was a little bit east of San Diego near Boulevard, which is where we are now. Some sweet windmills, a lot of space, another off-road vehicle place where we can let loose and make a little bit of noise if we want to. Shout out to Paula V, the owner of the Roxy Encinitas. We had such a great time with them over Thanksgiving weekend that we decided to book two more gigs for the 20th and 27th. So we'll be here in California if you're around. After the Roxy Encinitas, we went to the beach and met up with the Bubble Abundance crew, planned to shoot a music video. After San Diego, we headed up north to Topanga, and the Topanga crew took us out to Garth's Boulder Gardens, just outside of Joshua Tree National Park. We had a beautiful desert rave weekend with them out there. Shout out Topanga crew, we love you. After we got back from Joshua Tree, we went up to Malibu and got a nice spot on the beach at an RV resort where we were able to plug in and unwind. That's where we started doing our beach sessions. So you can check some of those out on our channel. We've just been playing acoustic, saxophone, and piano on the beach to anyone that wants to listen. While we were in town, we were able to do a session in LA with Toronto Dump. And we stopped by Long Beach to see our friends Marie and Drew of Buffalo Party. So now we find ourselves back in Boulevard. We're kind of by Alpine, east of San Diego, just camping, spending some time making music, making these videos and getting ready for our gig back at the Roxy on Sunday, December 20th and 27th. Reservations are strongly recommended if you'd like to come to that. We'd love to see you there. It's in their outdoor back patio. Looking forward, we're going to spend uh, New Year's in Arizona, and then we've got January 6th outside of Austin, Texas, and setting up a stream on January 8th in Austin. Then we're going to head to New Orleans and Florida. We hope to see you out there. Thanks so much for tuning in to our story. We have a lot more videos to make. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, share it if you can, comment if you can. Every little bit helps us. Thank you so much for helping us spread the joy. Thank you.